Tamara, can you say something about the requirements for the connectors outside the battery system from your point of view? So the connectors should be as light and as small as possible, of course, and they should be vibration safe since we are traveling um, with high velocities. And also it's uh, pretty cool that all the connections are combined into one connector, these combi tags, so it's pretty easy to connect uh, to the battery box. How did you experience the cooperation with Stöbel Electric Connectors people? Um, I just want to say that it was a real pleasure to work with Stäuble and our contact person Benny because he always helped us where he could and for example when we decided to not pressurize the battery boxes there were some small changes with the connections in the combi tags and I called him and told him about it, we talked and some days later we had already the new parts so that's really all you can ask for from uh, sponsor. What in particular are the requirements for the connectors from the battery to the inverters? So the main requirement uh, that we asked for is to have a very uh, res high resistance to uh, current. So basically we will be current, uh, dropping uh, at around 900 amps of current and uh, with around 900 volts. Um, this means that uh, we also want the connectors to not have uh, a lot of resistance uh, for connectivity, so basically uh, we asked uh, Stoeble to have uh, us produced uh, some silver plated uh, connectors and bus bars and therefore uh, we decrease the power losses uh, with, with these high currents that we want to uh, draw from the batteries. Um, this as well needs to uh, uh, be checked as a safety uh, concern uh, and finally, we also wanted to have a very good combination between the high voltage system uh, with the two poles and the low voltage system for either um, for both the low voltage uh, powering and uh, sensing of all the sensors and uh, battery management system.